Okay, so for the last few weeks, um, the dishwasher is not draining the water properly. Um, and we have done the, uh, you know, uh, running the cancel cycle, uh, which works a couple of times. But unfortunately at the bottom, there is still significant amount of water uh, so today we're gonna do a uh, uh, we're gonna address this issue by going into the um, the sump pump basket and the filter and see if we can uh, uh, clean it up we'll also look at the uh, exhaust hose so the first step we did is we took out all the baskets um, this one is a GE dishwasher so you can remove these clips by just pushing in this uh, tab and just uh, pulling them straight out that way you can get the baskets out of the way uh, so you can uh, work on the uh, dishwasher a little bit easier the next thing we're going to do is uh, take all the water out um, and then we'll go to uh, troubleshooting so this is the uh, uh, this is our dishwasher obviously your dishwasher is going to look different um, one kind of a quick way to remove water is to um, just start your cycle and then quickly cancel it. And that's that's you know you do it there. Uh, just causes uh, the uh, uh, pump to take out uh, a little bit more of the water, and the drain cycle sometimes reduces the amount of water inside the uh, dishwasher. So start with that first. Okay, so we have the cover for the filter and the sump pump removed. Uh, for this model, uh, as you can see. This uh, filter, there is actually a uh, tube that engages with the uh, filter cover, um, and I don't know whether you can see this or not. There's actually a pipe on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, that's what this extension of the uh, filter uh, goes into. So uh, I can explain how I had to take it out, where. This screen tends to be in this location, um, and there is actually a screw that goes in there. So I took that screw out, um, and I lifted the screen, and then just twisted it out towards the left, and that's what caused the, uh, uh, the screen cover to come out. Then inside of that is, uh, yeah, it looks disgusting, but uh, that's that's the uh, call it the gross filter if you will and then we're gonna go inside of that and uh, find out what other surprises are in store for us so now we have cleaned out the inside of um, that filter and the sump pump uh, area uh, actually I didn't really find a whole lot of stuff there uh, what I found was uh, um, <clears throat> a lot of the vinyl um, um, you know hoses and small connectors that, uh, that that are actually there they're starting to disintegrate uh, you can actually see um, this screen oscillator uh, you can actually see it's kind of all eaten up uh, so found uh, pieces like that uh, then while we were at it uh, decided to take out the water inlet uh, this is what that uh, goes on top of it yes it looks nasty that's the benefit of uh, cleaning them out every once in a while just uh, was the heater was held by a clip uh, took the clip off uh, this piece actually goes inside and then that's just the uh, cover on top of it and uh, all you want to do is just check that this is the switch and you want to make sure it makes a nice clicking sound that means that it's working properly and then there was a lot of uh, gunk underneath it that uh, that we cleaned once out. you're done cleaning the filter the other thing you have to check is if your uh, drain line has any kind of uh, dirt and debris in it um, so depending upon how your drain line is hooked up uh, just disconnected mine was you know right at the, um, at the right there so we're just kind of letting the letting it drain and you can already see there is some uh, you know after cleaning some minor debris is uh, coming out so you know typically they are connected to the um, uh, food disposer 
Um, so just let it let it run a full cycle uh, every once in a while. Just uh, move the line. Uh, don't don't pull on it or uh, move it too much because you don't want it to disconnect from uh, from the dishwasher. But a little bit of agitation goes a long way uh, to kind of take out any of the loose debris uh, that might be in the uh, in the lines.